Good evening. Corpse01.mdl is a model you're undoubtedly familiar with if you spent a good amount of time playing Source Engine games. The model appears often throughout the Half-Life 2 campaign, especially in the Canals segment, and it's also a popular player model in Gary's mod. It has historically been the default model for the hobo job in Dark RP servers, and you've probably come to associate it with a guy screaming and throwing shoes on RP downtown. But Corpse01.mdl has a bit of a dark secret. It's been well known for a while that the clothes seen on the model are from an earlier cut design of the citizen suit, and that the presence of burnt bodies in the game is the result of a cut combine janitor enemy called the Cremator, but it was recently discovered that the face texture on the model was also developed using a real photo of a dead burnt body. Sadly, I don't think I can show you the uncensored image on YouTube, even if I were to age restrict the video and give it a content warning, so this pixelated one will have to do for now. It's believed that the picture was originally sourced from a medical textbook showing forensics photographs, though verifiable information about something this old is a bit hard to come across online. One user on Reddit claims to recall the man as once being involved with the Mafia and having his face torched as a mean of sending a twisted message. Though this is dubious, it would explain the guy's hair being in perfect shape. For a long time, users online have speculated that other models, such as the Poison Zombie and this leaked Fast Zombie model, also use real graphic injuries as references, though I'm not aware of any source images for either of those. This burned victim is the first source photo for a Half-Life 2 corpse I've ever come across, and it looks like they used it pretty wholesale apart from editing the guy's one remaining eye out. In the developer commentary for Valve's later title, Left 4 Dead 2, one of the game's developers, Bronwyn Grimes, recalled, The infected textures are part hand-painted, part photographic reference. One of our team members had a nightmare folder full of photographs of people suffering from bizarre diseases and injuries. They were so hard to look at that the infected actually contained none of these. Instead, the secret ingredients for infecting normal-looking human textures are photos of housing insulation and potato skins. It would seem that since Valve discovered this new technique, they've stopped making use of real gore images for model and texture references. It's a controversial yet surprisingly common practice that many in the gaming industry consider unethical due to the profound effects it tends to leave on developers, such as lifelong PTSD and nightmares. And on the level of the player, it's kind of creepy to imagine how many of us have walked around Gmod servers and made memories with this model online, completely oblivious to its morbid origins. Just imagine you get viciously burnt to death by the Mafia, and then in death they turn your disfigured body into the dark RP hobo. That's fucked up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.